Uh, we are back with TSPN, and we're here with the publisher of the Amateur Ledger Dispatch, Jack Mitchell. Jack, yeah, good to see you again back again. from Rome. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, um, you are here for a specific reason besides helping the co-host this morning, but uh, we're going to talk about the Butte fire. Yeah. Uh, like you, know, you said, you haven't got much sleep in the No, it has been really round the clock, uh, and certainly not nearly as round the clock as the fire departments uh, right. from around the state. Uh, but uh, basically starting Wednesday of uh, last week when the fire broke out, I think it was Wednesday afternoon at 2.30. Mm -hmm. uh, they had the call at uh, Butte Mountain, uh, 17,000 block. I actually deliver a newspaper route up there, so I'm familiar with the area. And, mm -hmm. I, and unfortunately, I also know the fuel that's available for a fire, and, mm -hmm. and it just spread. Um, and it really, obviously, has gone completely out of control. And then they contained it, but uh, not through, not without having to go through amazing efforts and some real heroic stories. And, uh, and people so may not understand, while well, it started at a half acre, the, the brush is so dry, and any little wind that comes up picks up an ember, and then it's gone. Well, and I, you know, the hard part for us in covering this is people always say, well, you know, they could have done this. Yeah. Could, there's always the armchair quarterback. Right. I'm telling you right now, the professionals, Cal Fire themselves, said we have never seen anything like this. The fire behavior. Fire behavior usually... I mean, sure, you have instances that are different, uh, but usually it'll follow a track. They can get the one. This one, literally with the fuel involved, spread out every which way. And they and said the same thing about the, the fire over in Lake County, too, that the, the uh, terrain is so rough, but you get into a brush that in many cases hasn't burned for 20, 30, 40 that's years. Right. And with a drought that's uh, in our fifth year, just extraordinary. Ah, it's just a perfect storm. And it uh, shot up, you know, and, and like I said, the, so you see them going every which way, and you see these uh, guys that have been uh, amazing professionals, really, truly heroes uh, from around the state fighting this thing. And um, there's so many touching stories. Uh, I got choked up just driving into the Plymouth area and seeing them set up at the fair. Right. When you see that many people come together to save our homes, uh, it's really just breathtaking. I think they said there were over 400 uh, crews up there and the, just the massive amount of engines It was and just resources. like an encampment, yeah. uh, and it is, and that's what they do. And so you have stories like that, and then you have the same thing with the power being out. Mm -hmm. And then it's a reach out, how do you get the information out to the public, and right. that's really... I, I was up the the uh, rancheria last night, and uh, just some of the stories from people that they're just, they just want to go home. I had one elderly lady come up to one of the Red Cross guys just pleading to let her just go home and see if her home was still there. Yeah. Well, and that's the hard part, too, when you get in the evacuation center. And God bless Jackson Rancheria for their setup uh, and taking care of the folks. And Mr. Hoffman was down there, Rich. Uh, every day. Uh, every day, hanging out. Uh, he, I believe on day four, he said Doritos are now part of his vegan diet. Uh, so... Uh, <laughs> Kept a sense of humor, kept the spirits up for folks, uh, let everyone know. And he himself was uh, has a home on, you know, right. that he was evacuated from. So I think uh, Supervisor Chris Wright from Calaveras County was there yesterday, of course. Uh, all of our AFPD personnel and uh, Red Cross is doing a phenomenal job. But uh, Rancheria, as far as feeding people, trying to make them comfortable, as well as keeping some of their animals outside, too. Oh, and the, Law the Lawton Ranch... Uh, certainly, the again, the fairgrounds. The ACART uh, group, the Amateur oh. County uh, Animal Evacuation And the, uh, the amazing thing is the, the sheriff's office. And, and one of the things we deal with as we're covering this is how do you get the information out so your power's down. A lot of people don't have. So really, it was Facebook and, te and texting. And in fact, you saw me here earlier. I've got my phone. I've been living with it, which is also why you see... For once, I have a reason to explain my misspelled words because right. it's fat little thumbs on on uh, and my frontline guys, Bill Lavalley, out there shooting the photos. We're trying to get the information back, but and the, we're trying to get reliable information correct. to people. That it's hard sometimes when people look and the evacuation areas are so immense. But that's what they do. They they well, the, name the areas much wider than well, and they do, and they have. There's certainly sources that you count on. Cal Fire, uh, your Amateur County Sheriff's. Uh, office, uh, all the organizations right. that you get, but you also then have on the social networks all of the misinformation from mm -hmm. people. So, for example, when they have the evacuations, you hear of widespread looting. Right. Well, the sheriff's office will call them and say, hey, we've heard this, have you seen anything? And then they go through and they actually go line to line. Now, I will say, the sheriff's yep. office literally when we would call them, would go and check house by house, street by street, and he'd say, who did you hear? And they would go check that home and call yep. us back and say, nope, 
you're fine. Not just the sheriff's office, too. Oh, no. I got to say that the resources that have come in from Tuolumne, uh, you have uh, Sacramento County, San Joaquin County, El Dorado oh, County, the, all of law enforcement, were, all of fire. Patrolling had the road, the hard road closures set up, but not only just the hard road closures, house checks. Uh, mm -hmm. well, and I'm not saying that you can stop every instance, but, uh, but they... Right. Definitely did heavy patrols, and the information coming back was unbelievable. Yeah, we better get to some of the pictures. I know you have some pictures you want to bring up on the screen. I don't know if I got the pictures here in time or not. Oh, let's I may see. not let's have. See. I don't know if we got them up, <laughs> up there or not, guys. Nope, no pictures. No pictures. I, if I, you I, want to see pictures, you can go online. I did post, uh, and it's also kind of another what, misinformation on my website. What's or, out online? Uh, if you go to Facebook, uh, right now it's all on Facebook. You can go to the Emmer Ledger Dispatch site on Facebook, and you can go to my Facebook page, uh, and there are 600 or so photos. It's really a pictorial. It's not photos that I've taken. It's ones that we collected and that people sent us. We'll be adding to that. Did uh, you so see the one picture of the two deer in the stream? With the bridge behind them, with fire, massive I've, fire behind them. It's this I've heart, seen heart the you photos see. that you see. Um, there's several that move me. The one, three of them that we put together for Bill was the planes, uh, and there's a quote from the fire one of the fire personnel that honestly it was on the fourth day and he'd been out on 20 hour stretches uh, and I said you know how's it going and he said something to the to the form of uh, you know it's a beast a hell of a beast but you will not believe our resolve and tenacity and she'll find out we're stronger which right. is just a great quote and uh, and what a hero I mean it just bro it broke me it still breaks me thinking about it um, and I imagine the paper this Friday will will be full of more pictures this and, and this great Friday's stories. edition is actually all fire um, we'll have a little bit of information obviously you have some obituaries and some pieces of information we need to get out there but really it's the uh, putting the historic note to this and making sure we also want to share with people how the coverage happened uh, not only law enforcement, but uh, even the media. You know, people wonder what's the relationship between TSPN and the Ledger Dispatch and Hometown Radio and and Amateur Community News uh, online. All of the all of the competition to get the stories and get the all of that dies. The scoop that goes. Yeah. When this goes down, it's literally look. We need to get the information out. And uh, Jim Geedy over at at the radio station was sending me stuff, and he. Call me, text me. Um, we had a group text thing going between uh, here. Uh, they'd grab on and say, "Hey, what? You know, we saw this," uh, but all of that disappears. And, and there's still gaps out there where, if people have ideas how to how to solve things uh, at the rancheria last night, people haven't got their mail for a week, and there was a mail carrier there who had some ideas, but she was too embarrassed to speak on mic. <laughs> so I think they were going to talk to her afterwards. The animals outside the rancheria that are pets of people or goats and in, in trailers, um, they got to be running out of food. Yeah. Well, a cart at the fairgrounds has food running over right now because people have been donating. So they're going to make some exchanges today and bring some yeah. over. Yeah, when, when we certainly heard stories of the Lawton Ranch between the Lawton Ranch and the uh, a cart and uh, the fairgrounds of trading around pieces, uh, there's a lot of things to consider. You got to remember the power was out for a long time. Uh, I didn't think about. It. I saw a post the other day that was when you get home, don't open up your refrigerator. Um, don't even open it. Tape that thing shut. And if you've got stuff, you know, because it's uh, the bacteria in there. Uh, right. It's worse than mold. It's uh, mm -hmm. very dangerous. And they said, you know, you're just gonna. So there's going to be a lot of different things that we've got to. And then of course the other worry is there's ones that take advantage of of the situation, and and that's the hard part when you get on the social media sites. Uh, certainly, I would suggest to everyone go to organizations that you know that you've vetted amateur community foundation has set right. up a fund and that's probably the one i i'm going to donate to mm -hmm. because i know i have a track record with them and know with right. same thing at the calaveras has a community foundation uh, there are other pieces but you get into some of the gofundme sites and that not to pick on them but they certainly do take a chunk of, away right. from the donations so so you got to be real careful on on how you donate. And you also got to look at the, when you're rebuilding, the different contractors. Yeah, um, Red Cross does a phenomenal job. Uh, so you got to watch donating to Red Cross, though, and make sure it's going to stay in the county. If you want to stay, ha want it to stay in the county, probably the Community Foundation is. Really, the I think the Community Foundation for Amador and the Community Foundation for Calaveras, right. uh, both of those are ones that I know I'm personally, I feel safe 
giving them my money and saying, okay, make sure you get this to the people that need to. Right. Uh, and I would encourage everyone to do that. And a lot of these people are still going to need help after this is all done, especially Calaveras people that have lost their homes. There probably were a few in Amador. They're all going to need help for a long period of time, places to stay, clothing, food. Oh, and yeah. The, har the hardest thing is uh, when we looked at or the most amazing thing is we lost one structure in Amador County um, so far that's been, you know, you, and I, and the devastation over on the Calaveras side, and I've been through it, it is spooky. Uh, Mountain Ranch, um, your heart just breaks, and it's, it's like a war zone. I yeah. mean, it's just, and it's so silent. Uh, the area I was in was silent, and it, it's just burned down. Everything's burned down, and there's wind chimes in the background going, and I mean, it freaked me out. Yeah. Uh, and I've seen a lot of different horrific scenes Almost with my like job. A, they... they they make it akin to a Holocaust or something like no, that. No, it really has that feel to it. Not that I've gone through, but you know, I mean, that's exactly. And it's it's uh, very similar to uh, on Thursday night. I did throw my route for newspapers where we could go, and when you looked over and saw the glow on the horizon, right. and it looked like a volcano. Yeah. I mean, it was the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Yeah, it's very different when you're involved in a fire when you're when you can get into the center of it. I imagine it'll be heartbreaking when people get back in uh, and actually see it. Um, of course, you. Rebuild. I mean, you, that's, you have to have that resolve. They're going to rebuild, and, and it, it is about resolve. It's also about help and assistance. And, and I will say you can't live in a better spot than Amador County and Calaveras County when right. it's time to come together. Um, look, we all have differences at different times. Uh, I would say we're loud and opinionated, but at mm -hmm. the end of it, we all share a love for Amador County. And um, it's really And even our neighbors across the river, um, I... I Chris Wright, we have our differences in, with Amador County, but last night he did a great job talking to most of the people were from Calaveras. Yeah, well, and that's and you know they really got the brunt of this. Right. I mean, they did. Which is not to say that we didn't come real close. The wind blows the other way. Uh, you don't hold that line, uh, and they I, had thousands of them up there. I feel them. the wind blowing now too. We have to go to a, a break. <laughs> right. Jack, thank, thank you very thank much you. for being here thank for you. all of your great coverage. You bet. Thank okay. you. We're going to break with TSP, and we'll be right back. Thank <laughs> you.